Hey guys, in this video, Megan is gonna share about some of the challenges, but some of the opportunities for living on mission as a mom in an apartment complex. That's coming up. So in this past season where we were living before, we felt like the Lord speaking to us about really focusing on sharing with people that are international and specifically South Asian. And it was just really hard because um, everything was just so compartmentalized and we were living in a neighborhood that was primarily um, white middle class. So it was just really hard for me as a mom of young boys to actually be engaged in um, the with the people that the Lord was calling us to. And um, I realized that just sharing with my neighbors and trying to build relationship with neighbors is kind of where I'm at um, in my stage of life, that that's the most sustainable thing for me. Feels like it's a healthy, healthy step being here and a lot easier to have spiritual conversation um, with people. And I think just apartments in general, there's more opportunity to run into people and have spiritual conversations. So. It seems like as Americans, we have a tendency to compartmentalize and add on another activity mm -hmm. rather than thinking about ways to open up our life and live more intentionally where we already are planted. And so one of the things that's true about living here is that this is, rather than adding on another opportunity for mission and community, it's saying, how do we plant ourselves in a community and be on mission to that community space? And before we decided to move here, I was telling Mark, I was like, maybe we just need to work somewhere where we're around internationals, you know, like at a boba tea shop or <laughs> we were thinking about a lot of options, but yeah, uh, which those things, th that would also be a great way to work where you're like just doing work life with people. So yeah. it's exciting. And like I had my first, my first couple of interactions that have felt like like leaning like moving towards relationship i met what's cool is i met this girl named delilah before i moved in and before we moved in and she's from west africa and um the lord used her to really encourage me before she even knew what was on our hearts with being around south asian people but she told us that there were a lot of indian people living here <laughs> but she was very encouraging and telling me she loves it being here as a mom and so it's cool because she was the first person before we moved in to kind of the Lord used to confirm like that it was a good place for us to live. Since I moved in, she's been she goes on walks with her little girl and we've gotten to see her many times and yeah. talk about God, talk about spiritual things. So that's been really cool. And her son is older than our boys and mm -hmm. um, he plays soccer with a boy in this courtyard <laughs> and they ended, they were playing with my boys and helping take care of them. and. At one point they were all sitting in a circle like and he was teaching them a song and it's just amazing so yeah that's been really sweet for my heart and then um like it's kind of hard living here in a lot of ways to be honest um because you know we don't have laundry in our apartment so we have to walk to this little laundry mat here it's cool i i had i got an opportunity to have a spiritual conversation the other day in the laundry mat and um so, because a friend of mine had a prophetic word for me that the Lord was going to meet me in all the practical things moving in here. Because um, she, she felt like the Lord just wanted me to know that he cares about those things, especially as a mom of young kids moving into an apartment. And um, I was doing laundry and one of the machines ate all my quarters. <laughs> and then the next day, the, this guy who, it's his business is like coin laundry or whatever yeah. he's taking all the coins out and um he's asking me about my life and he he said i just really want to help you out and he gave me a like this giant pile of quarters and it felt like confirmation of what my friend my dear dear friend shared with me and so then this lady comes in and she's complaining about how people are always late with their laundry and um, i end up getting to talk to her about her life and um 
find out she's kind of struggling financially. And so then I, uh, I said, here, here's this pile of quarters. <laughs> and she said, she was just so touched. And she said that that day she had had a hard time, um, yeah. getting quarters. And so got to share that story of how God really loves to meet he knows every little thing about our lives and he loves to meet our needs. And that was right here. Yeah. So that's, this is the mm -hmm. laundry, laundromat, yeah. right? Yeah. So we're standing yeah. right outside of that right now. Yeah. So there are lots of hard things about, about it, but really like in the hard things, the challenging places, it's an opportunity to build relationship and um, yeah, and not be so independent, but learn how to be like interdependent with our neighbors and um, so we're really hoping to build those kinds of relationships and I think for me I'm trying to learn how to have like I feel like God's just meeting us in just the normal rhythms of being out and about we're trying to go on walks as a family and I'm trying to go on walks with the boys to just be out and about in the community and build that trust with people um, to be really familiar to people and yeah so I'm excited because I think the more like normal interactions just with going on walks that we have, the more yeah. people are going to be open to, to connecting with us. Because so. there is that about the cross-cultural ministry side of things that building trust equity with people is a part of it, that mm -hmm. we still want to live loud with the gospel, but we also want to live in such a way that people feel safe to talk with us and right. share their challenges and needs. Thank you.